Hello YouTube world, this is Logic Crazy and I'm Jonathan and here's yet another tutorial on creating an N Queens solver for a board of any size, literally a size of N. So we'll start off with explaining exactly how we will be solving this. We'll start off by placing a queen in the upper left hand corner, just like so. Uh, next we will say, do we jump to the next square? Well no, we know that we don't have to worry about anything else in this row because of the first queen. So we can automatically say we only have to play, try to place one per row or per column depending on how you see this and envision it in your head. So we will uh, then jump to the next row beneath it and place a queen starting always at the left I suppose and going across we find a spot that's valid. Then we go to the next row, find a first spot that's valid. Next row, first spot that's valid. But here on the fifth row, no spot is valid. You can feel free to check them all out. No spot should be valid. So we obviously have made a mistake so far. So we go up to the previous row and move it to the next spot. Again, checking for a valid solution wherever we go and no spot again is valid. So then we go back and say, ah, this piece is already at the very end. Can't go any further, so remove it and go even higher and move the next one over. And then come down and look for a spot, which is here, I believe, is the first spot. And again, nothing. And so we keep shifting these ones over till eventually we move the first one over all the way. So... And it will go through every single solution. We're not going to stop when we find that first solution. We want it to just keep going and find every single solution. So for a 4x4 four four board, I believe there's uh, six or two solutions, I think. And a 5x5, five five, there's uh, however many solutions. There are 10 or something. 6x6, six six, maybe six solutions. I don't know. Four solutions. Anyway. Whatever the number is, that is what we will get. And there will be thousands of solutions for a 13 by 13 board and so on. And that way we'll be able to learn a little bit about hash maps and such. So let's start off by creating this search method, which we'll call a guess, I suppose. So we'll start with our public static void uh, guess. And we will have an x and y coordinate because we always want to know you know, here's the, we're on the uh, seventh column in the third row, or whatever it is. Um, or if we start from zeros, it would be a little different. So we'll have a integer x and an integer y, and we also have an array. So we'll have an integer that's an array, and we'll call it queen board. All right, so. This should be a pretty simple thing. Uh, the first thing we want to do is have a an indefinite loop, which is a, a, a while loop in this case, while y is less than n. So basically what this while loop is saying is while uh, not everything has been uh, uh, figured out. So this loop will just keep going till every solution has been found and then the while loop quits and the whole search function quits with it. So while it hasn't looked through every solution. Then inside of here we will first start out by saying setting the queen board at the current location, whatever that is. Uh, let's see what I did with my cursor there. Let's see equals 1. So 1 is a queen, 0 is no queen. And the board by uh, an array by default is filled with zeros. So that is why 0 is no queen. Um, because by default we start with a blank uh, an array. So we first set the current location to a 1. That is like placing <coughs> a queen right here. And then what we will do is say if it's is it legal or not. So if legal dot possible queue, 
Now, we have to set this location. Uh, in Lego, it was an integer i, which represented a row and a column. So basically, this spot would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Uh, this spot would be 10, I believe. 8, 9, 10, 11, and so on. So that is what i is. So how do we set from an x and y location to one spot? Well, what we have to do is say, for instance, at this spot here being 10, it's the size of the board times the row. So, uh, so we're on the first row. So the first row times 8, in this case, which is 8 plus the column, which is 1, 2. 8 plus 2 is 10. So what we will set here is x times n, remember n is the size of the board, this static variable here, plus y. So that will check for if it's legal. Now, uh, if it is not legal, uh, it will just jump to the next thing here, or after the the legal thing has been checked, it'll say queen board x y equals zero. Now I'll explain that a little later, and then y plus plus. Now if it's legal, then we have one more question to ask. If x plus one equals n, I need another equals there. There we go. And this basically says a ah, solution has been found. So if it's legal and if x plus 1 equals n, what does that basically mean, x plus 1 equals n? Well, if it's legal and if it's done, gone through every single, if you're going down, through the rows if it's gone through every single row. X representing the row in this case. Um, if every single row has been completed, then a solution has been found. So basically, the number of queens equals n would be another way of seeing that. So there's a solution. Now, after we say this whole if thing, then we need to say return because it could be a legal solution, but not everything has been found. And in that case, uh, it will go back to the previous spot. Now, in this queen board here, we set, we say, if it's legal, do this. But let's assume it isn't legal. Then, queen board, we set this x, y location we remove the queen, basically, that we just placed up here in line 6. We now remove it in line 13 and go to the next spot right here. So that is a very basic way of getting this. So if we uh, just from top to bottom look at it again, um, uh, one thing I should mention, let me see here looks like I'm missing something. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, there we go. Right after this return, just give me a second. I want this return to be inside a solution. There we go. That was my mistake. So if a solution has been found, then just return. This is, will be an iterative uh, method, so it will call itself. So assuming it's legal, but it hasn't uh, found all the queens, it's not quite completed yet, then what we have to do is say guess and then x plus 1, uh, comma 0, comma queen board. So what this does is says yes, what we placed here is legal, for instance, this first queen. However, we have not, we're not done yet, so do it again 
with x plus 1 and 0. So basically x plus 1 goes to the next row, which is right below it, and it always starts at the left-hand side. So let's say the last queen we had placed down was here. It goes down to the next row, but instead of just going one down, it goes to the start and goes all the way across, checking for stuff right up to this spot here. So that is basically the very quick and easy method. Uh, in the next tutorial, we'll focus on dealing with this solution and implementing it into a hash table. So there'll be lots of new and exciting stuff in that tutorial. Until next time, enjoy Java.